I think it's pretty stunning that they, I mean, they did take a quarterback, but they took one in the seventh round, so they didn't really make a serious run at someone who reasonably can be, can be considered uh, like a Tom Brady successor. You never know. Maybe uh, Edling ends up being a, a diamond in the rough, but um, given the resources they had, two first-round picks, two second-round picks coming in, I think the conventional wisdom would suggest that they were going to try to make a push and, and get a talented quarterback at the top of the draft. Tom Brady's 41 years old. When Tom Brady was 37 or 38, they drafted Garoppolo in the second round. Even two years ago, they drafted Jacoby Brissett in the third round. So you figured they would, at the very least, take one in the, in the second or maybe trade back into the third or fourth and take one. They pretty much bypassed that altogether, took uh, Danny Etling in the seventh round, who's probably just a project, kind of a long shot. So uh, surprising that they postponed this to another year. It just tells me that, I mean, they had the chance to take Lamar Jackson if they wanted. They, they could have taken him twice, and they didn't. So I don't think they love Lamar Jackson too much. And, and if you talk about the guys later in the draft, they had the chance to take Kyle Loletta too, and they didn't really want him. So I think they probably evaluated the prospects and decided that those guys, they didn't see them as someone who had the potential to be Tom Brady's successor. So they pick up a few extra picks. They get Chicago's second rounder in 2019. They get Detroit's third rounder in 2019. So they do have now some draft capital next year to potentially move around the board and try to find someone next year. Yeah, I mean, you look at uh, what they did here. They, I mean, Danny Etling is, is not hes not going to be the quarterback of the future. Um, he, he's a, a good player. Uh, um, he, he can... Uh, has good arm strength, but he he struggles under pressure, and he has some mechanical issues. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, if if the Patriots are lucky, he's uh, uh, Brian Hoyer, or he's uh, something along those lines. But uh, I mean, it would take a lot for him to turn into like the, the next starting quarterback. Yeah.